What's up, Future Millionaires? Billy Wilson here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down for you how I made over $20,000 with my social media marketing agency in the last 30 days. And keep in mind, this is recurring revenue, and obviously you can see that on the proof, uh, see that proof on the screen right here for my Square account. And there's actually even about $6,000 that's overdue that's gonna be paid in the next couple of days, so that should go up even more. So just wanted to make this video to give a lot of value to you guys, break down all my clients for you, so I guess let's jump right into it. All right, so I actually put together a, an Excel spreadsheet for you guys here with all of the clients that I have and the monthly payments of all of them, kind of even when I started working with some of these clients. So you guys can get an honest input of I guess what to expect with a social media marketing agency and the potentials of it. Um, as you can see, the first client here is a gym and they pay me $1,500 per month. I've had this gym since November 2017. So I've had this client for almost two years. Obviously, I've had this client the longest of all my clients, I started my agency about a little bit over two years ago at this point. Um, my second client that I still have, or I guess my second oldest client is a financial company and they pay me $4,500 per month. That one since May 2018. And that's actually the first client that I had where I actually reached six figures. So the first time I reached six figure, a six figure income was May 2018. Uh, my next client is counseling and they do a specific service that I promote that's related to counseling as far as like anxiety and stress and things like that. That client is $1,750 per month. Had them since August 2018. So guys, the myth that you cannot have social media marketing clients for a long period of time is definitely not true. Uh, there's three clients right there that I've had over one year and one of them that I've had for almost two years. Now, another thing I'll mention too, besides these first three clients, uh, I guess besides the first two clients, out of my last seven clients, or last my, my last eight clients, I should actually say, I've only lost one of my clients. And this is a huge deal because as you can see here, um, between these first three, well, the first two clients that I had and before the first client that I had for the longest amount of time, the gym, I've actually had clients before the gym. Um, I would gain clients and lose clients all the time, and this is a huge problem that I have, so maybe in this video I'll talk about that a little bit. But all of these clients here, out of these seven clients, which would actually be totaled eight because of the one that I lost, so out of my eight last clients, I've only lost one, and these clients have been paying me every single month, and I've gotten just really good at finding high quality clients and only working with high quality clients that I know will stay with me for life, and retention and getting them results over a long period of time. And the key to that, obviously, if you've seen some of my other YouTube videos is Facebook advertising, but there's more keys to that that maybe I'll talk about in a little bit, but let's jump right back into continue on in all of the clients that I have. I have a solar client um, that's $1,700 per month, um, a female only gym that's $2,000 per month, stem cell therapy treatment, which is $2,000 a month. We actually wanna raise this to $3,000, but we kind of just did this as to just prove our results first. And uh, they also plan on expanding out to multiple locations. So this is a very, very good growth potential. And we, uh, stem cell therapy is a very high ticket item. So it's very easy to get them a great return on investment. Um, we work with the e-commerce supplement. This one we do YouTube ads only for. Uh, we might do Facebook ads later for them. But as of right now, we do YouTube ads only. Most of these clients, we only do Facebook ads. Um, this is the only one that we do YouTube ads for at the moment. Although we do have pretty good experience with YouTube ads. I would recommend you guys, if you're watching this, couple different things. One, just focus on Facebook ads only. No reason to learn YouTube ads. You don't really need to learn it unless you're going to just make your agency only YouTube ads, which you could if you wanted to. But um, the other thing that you might notice here that may not make sense to a lot of you guys, you might be wondering like, why is there a ton of different industries here? Like why, Billy, why are you working with like seven different industries right here? And that would be a good question. And I'll talk about that right after I get through the rest of these. So and by the way, guys, you're also gonna be able to see in this video my profit with this and all of the expenses that I have with my agency. So keep in mind this 23,000 isn't profit, but this is not including ad spend. So it's not like I'm each client is paying me like ad spend. Or no, that's not, none of that's included. None of the ad spend is included because if I included ad spend, it'd probably be like double or triple this, probably like triple this at least if I included the ad spend. So that wouldn't be fair. This is only money that we're actually making and bringing into our business, not money that we're paying Facebook. And you'd actually be, you'll actually be surprised at how much profit I actually take away, which if I scroll down here in a second, which I will, I'll show you guys exactly how much profit I actually end up taking away from this 22,000, which is actually a surprisingly high amount. So 
Um, the next one is an e-commerce device, and this is a new client we just got on. Um, they're paying $5,000 per month and um, already getting them great results. Dentist, $2,500 per month, um, two locations. That one, we our original deal is $3,000, but we're giving them a first month the first three months for like $500 off. So it's a, that client's actually a $3,000 per month client. But um, in total here, that's obviously nine clients. And in total, that ends up being about $23,000. Hopefully some of these prices will actually increase even further, which I do pretty much expect them to. And now let's talk about why I have multiple different industries here. So one thing that's key to growing your agency, as you can see, I've had my agency for two, over two years. So I wanna first off say guys, like this is over two years of work to be able to get a business set up like this and, and gaining the knowledge and, and getting them great results and actually getting the clients and setting up the whole system and everything like that. So another thing that I did at the very beginning of my agency was I would compare myself to these people with like seven to nine clients or whatever amount of money and I would just be so overwhelmed that I wasn't doing as good of a job, which it, it can be motivating, which is a good thing. If you're motivated by, motivated by this, that's great. But don't feel like overwhelmed that you need to get this done like tomorrow. Keep in mind, this took me like two years of work to be able to build this up. So it's not easy. It's going to take some time. But it's like, can I tell you how much better this is than a normal job? It is absolutely amazing. Um, and at this point, if I don't want to add any more clients, I can, I can literally work on my agency one to two hours per week if I don't want to keep adding on more clients to this, which... I mean, I really don't need to. I feel pretty happy here, but if I get more clients that are even better than these ones, I might drop some of the lower ticket ones and replace them out with uh, higher ticket clients. Now, the reason I'm working with different industries comes down to the fact that I want to spend as little time as possible. I've already set up a system to get meetings automatically, and that's through my personal brand. Over the last two years, I've built up my personal brand which has allowed me to get meetings and people and clients applying to work with me uh, like a couple, at least a couple times a week. And then from those clients, let's say I get 100 clients, there might only be like one to five of those that are actually qualified that, to actually work with us. And then from there, I will go actually, well actually the way I have it set up is they see my personal brand, I'll have a link somewhere that they can apply to work with me. They'll fill out an application, then someone on my team will review all the applications um, they pretty much just review them because they get emails to them automatically. Someone on my team reviews them and if the person on my team determines this will be a really good client, they forward the email to me and then basically I reach out to them to set a meeting with them. It's that simple, it's all automated. Um, obviously building a personal brand takes a lot of time. At the beginning when I first started this out, you can even go back to my way old YouTube videos. I was doing everything you could, cold calling, um, cold calling, cold emails, walking in person. Uh, messaging people on Facebook, like all of those work amazing, especially when you're first starting out because obviously you're not gonna have a personal brand that takes like a year or more to build up and you wanna be able to get clients quickly. But the key here is not necessarily, it's not, I'm not saying build a personal brand. What I'm saying is build a system, it doesn't matter what system it is, build a system to get you meetings consistently. That is so important in scaling your agency. And the second part of this is is retention because You'll notice here I only lost one of my last eight clients and this is why I'm making so much money per month while working so little hours. See, the thing that most people get wrong and the thing that I see like very, very little, I've actually never seen anybody teach it honestly, is client retention. Um, because then you're just straight up building a mountain or like a skyscraper or whatever. Compared to most people that are running their agency, they're like trying to roll uh, a, like a boulder up a hill and they just like every time they lose a client, the boulder falls back down the hill, they gotta push it back up again compared to like actually just building a solid foundation and just stacking on clients. Most people are kind of like, they stack on one layer, they stack on two layers, then they're back, they're taking two step forward, two step forward and one back step back and it just makes it way, way harder. Um, and as you know, the longest, the hardest part of getting a new client is that first month of getting them the results and get everything set up and onboarding them. So if you can keep your clients like the second, the third month, the sixth month, the 12th month, those are the months that you're getting profit for a lot less work because the most of the work with this industry is done up front. Um, and the, trust me guys, there's nothing better to, than keeping clients long-term. So if you can figure out how to do that by maybe watching my videos, being in my course, whatever it is, uh, it will absolutely make your life so much better and you'll not have to spend so much time getting new clients all the dang time. 
and it's just a, a lot better. So the reason I pretty much have multiple industries here is just simply because I can't, with my personal brand, the way that I have it set up, I can't control which clients are applying to work with me. So that's the reason why I'm working with multiple industries. But with my case, we've in my media buyer um, that runs the ads for me and with me, we've developed a, developed a system to be able to run ads for pretty much any different industry. Now, obviously for a beginner, that's gonna be a lot harder to be able to run ads for every single industry. But we've gotten to the point where we've gotten really good at this and we can run ads for pretty much any business and get them great results as long as they are high quality and they fit our expectations and we know that they're gonna close the leads. So those things are all very important. We look for clients that also have a high um, profit margin because that makes it easier for us to generate a good return for them. So we're pretty much looking for high quality clients, not really a specific niche, just simply because we can't control that with the personal branding approach. So that obviously is one of the downsides, but the benefit to that approach is we get appointments set up automatically so we don't have to spend, or I don't have to spend, any, nobody on my team has to spend any time doing any outreach whatsoever. Appointments just come to us every single day. Um, but like I said, you don't have to set up a personal brand and obviously if everybody goes out and set a personal brand, then it's gonna be too competitive and not work anymore. So you need to come up with your own system, just any system. It could be cold emailing, cold calling, it could be uh, running Facebook ads. Now don't do that until you're at least at making $10,000 a month and really good at Facebook advertising, but um, could be, shoot, like you could partner with a business that, let's say there you partner with this business that sells chiropractors um, like high ticket equipment, then you partner with that business and then when they sell them the high ticket equipment, they also tell them and refer you to them. I know a, a lot of people that have made um, good connections with businesses that work with a lot of like a certain niche and then they kind of sell their services as like a combination with that or as a kind of like a referral system. So if you can get an in with a business that already has a lot of customers in one industry, you can possibly even help them out and um, get a lot of referrals that way. I know a lot of people that scale their agency that way. Just any way you can think of to get meetings consistently and that will allow you to scale and get more clients consistently. But even more important that, than that, in my opinion, is actually the retention. Because um, if you have the retention, you're just straight up building like a skyscraper and it's so much better than going up and down like a roller coaster and it just kind of sucks overall doing that. So. Enough rambling for myself. Let's kind of scroll down here and go into the actual profit margins here. So, um, so how do I actually work on this? So, by the way, I do spend a little bit more time than one to two hours per week if I am onboarding the clients or um, closing them in meetings. But once I have the clients and they're all done with the first month, I pretty much only spend one to two hours max every week. I just meet with my media buyer, uh, the person that runs the Facebook ads for the clients, and I. Just make sure all the client's results are going good. I give them any the media buyer any advice um, to improve the ads if it's necessary, and that's pretty much it. Everything else runs on automatic. The media buyer does everything with communicating with the clients who are running the ads, making sure they're doing good. Um, and for my media buyer, I give them 20% of all the clients. So some of you guys might think that's low, some might think it's high, but to be honest with you guys, if you set up your Facebook advertising the right way, it'll only take them a couple more hours per week, like a couple hours per week once you set up the initial campaigns and they're getting results to manage the Facebook ads, it really doesn't take that much time. It's just setting them up the first time that probably takes the longest amount of time. So that's another reason why retention is super important because the more retention you have, the less amount of time you're spending um, managing your clients. So if you can get your clients amazing results and do better than everyone else with Facebook ads, um, which is what we've been able to do with our agency, just get them like the most, the best results possible and we've just become pretty much the best in the industry at Facebook advertising. Um, that's how we're able to keep these clients for a very long time. And I just put Fiverr in here because sometimes we spend like 100, about $100 a month randomly on different Fiverr tasks. Like let's say we tell somebody to make an image or like a slideshow or put this thing on a video, whatever. So I just had an extra $100 there. Um, so as far as media buyers, um, like I said, he pretty much handles everything, communicates with the clients, does the ads for the clients, everything like that. So why would the client maybe not just choose to work with them? Um, well, one, I'm the one that talked with them in the meeting. I kind of set the overall strategy for the client, I guess kind of like the, the brains of the operation. And there's also a lot more stability for them. So I'm still kind of, the one thing that I'm still doing is pretty much the overall strategy with the clients. And that's one of the most honestly valuable things. Like guys, it's not about how much time you spend per client. 
and based on how much you charge you charge your clients based on how much value you are bringing them um, like five this five thousand dollar client may be the same amount of work as a two thousand dollar client but the five thousand dollar client we are bringing way more value so that's you charge based on value not about how much time you're spending this is a huge thing that's hugely important with your social media marketing agency and pretty much how I'm making about like over two thousand dollars an hour of work right now so that's the contractor spend about 5,800. So basically just 25% of whatever I make here. And this is really safe too, especially for beginners. Cause if you're doing a percentage, then you're not forced to pay like a thousand dollars a month when you only have one client for a thousand dollars a month and you're kind of locked in or whatever. And then it kind of gets scary that you're going to lose the client and then you lose all your money. Just do a percentage and it makes it super simple. And then from there, these are all the services that I use for my agency in total. It comes out to $287 per month of all like the monthly recurring services that's Zapier, ClickFunnels, Active Campaign. By the way, if you're starting your agency, you don't have to have all of these. The only one that's really mandatory is Zapier. You don't really have to have any of these other ones except for maybe like a, a website, a simple website, Squarespace, um, which, so you can pretty much have your agency for like $50 a month. Um, Zapier, I pay $50 a month just because that, that's an extra fee because I have so many clients and so many uh, tasks. But for most people, it's like $20 a month. Um, Squarespace, Google Drive, click send. That's like a text messaging thing to text message leads. Leadbridge, you don't, nobody really needs that. Namecheap is the domain that I, for my website, LastPass is just a password sharing thing. Uh, G Suite is like your email that has an added domain. So it's like, um, my website is wilsonmedia.co. So it might be like, um, info at wilsonmedia.co. And then, so the software is $287 and my final profit there is $16,825 per month and actual profit, obviously taxes, I got to take that out, but this is the actual profit of this business in the last, um, well, this is necessarily in the last 30 days, but this is like my monthly recurring because these are my clients, how much they're paying me monthly. So my actual profit that I'm taking about monthly right now is $16,825. And um, honestly, it's pretty awesome. That's why I really love this business model. It's so profitable and I can spend only a couple hours per week on it. If you set up your agency in the right way, you keep your clients. Uh, I literally only have one employee as well for this business. Now for my other business, I have like a lot I have like probably like five different people that I work with, but for this one, it's way simpler. It's extremely profitable. That's like 75% profit margin almost. Um, it's, it's really amazing. Now, obviously this took a lot of time for me to set up, but I just want to make this video because I hope it inspires you to what's possible with this business. If you're like, whether you're just getting started or you're just learning about it, if you want to learn more about it, check out the other videos on my channel. I have a video like how to start a social media marketing agency. And I just wanted to make this video to inspire you guys that already have an agency to keep going. If you're going through like a little bit of tough times right now, this is after two years of doing it. And I've trust me guys, I've been through some really, really, really tough times building my agency. Um, it's definitely been the most hardest challenges that I've faced in my life, but nothing has been more worth it. Um, then working on this business every single day, it's completely changed my life. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this kind of content, you want to learn more to how to do amazing Facebook ads, um, start a social media marketing agency, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And with that said, hope you guys have a good rest of your day.